Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are there any documented cases of widespread election fraud? To address this question, let's delve into the available data and studies on election fraud in the United States. The Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank, maintains a database of election fraud cases. As of November 2023, this database lists 1,465 proven cases of election fraud over the past 44 years. However, it's important to note that this database is not comprehensive, but rather a sampling of cases. One of the most notable cases involved absentee ballot fraud in Greene County, Alabama in 1994. Here, nine defendants pleaded guilty to voter fraud, and two others were found guilty by a jury. The fraud included using an assembly line to mass-produce forged absentee ballots to influence election outcomes. In another significant case, the 2003 mayoral primary in East Chicago, Indiana, was overturned by the state Supreme Court due to widespread fraud. Alan Twig Simmons, an operative for the mayor's campaign, was convicted for persuading voters to let him fill out their absentee ballots in exchange for jobs. Despite these instances, the overall numbers of election fraud cases are relatively low compared to the total number of votes cast. For example, in Texas, between 2005 and 2022, there were 103 confirmed cases of election fraud out of over 107 million ballots cast, which amounts to 0.00096% of all ballots. A study by News 21, an Arizona State University journalism project, found 2,068 alleged electoral fraud cases between 2000 and 2012. However, 46% of these cases resulted in acquittals, dropped charges, or decisions not to bring charges. This study also highlighted that the incidence of voter fraud is extremely rare, affecting about 0.00003 cases for every vote cast. In recent elections, such as the 2020 and 2022 general elections in swing states like Arizona and Georgia, the number of documented cases of election fraud remains negligible. In Arizona, for instance, only four cases of fraudulent voting were documented in the 2020 general election out of over six million votes cast. In Georgia, no cases of fraud were reported in the 2020 and 2022 general elections, with only one case reported in the last four years involving a convicted felon. These findings suggest that while election fraud does occur, it is not widespread and does not significantly impact the outcome of elections. The vast majority of votes are cast legally, and the instances of fraud are typically isolated and prosecuted accordingly. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.